Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 11th. Our readings are 1 Samuel chapter 24, Jeremiah chapter 1, and Matthew chapter 12. And our thought is, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven, but... Today we read in Matthew chapter 12 several of the most challenging sayings of Jesus. They were spoken against the Pharisees, who were looking for things about which they could criticize him and his disciples. Firstly, for doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath, we read in verse 2. Jesus points out how inconsistent the Pharisees were in their efforts to criticize him and his disciples. They were narrow-minded. They had developed tunnel vision on the things they wanted to believe. We can see this today in the efforts to believe in evolution. And as a result, minds are blinded to the incredible wonders of creation and the strange notion that everything sort of created itself. It was the utterly remarkable work of God brought about through his spirit that not only brought all that exists today into being, but then to function together in the teamwork that the incredible mind of God designed. The Pharisees made ridiculous comments in an effort to deny the power of God that Jesus was exercising. The text tells us of a demon-oppressed man who was blind and mute was brought to him and he healed him. And so that man both spoke and saw, we read in verse 22. It is useful to note that the word demon does not occur in the Old Testament. It came into use when the Greeks conquered the land and they introduced it because they believed that demons caused diseases. The Greeks imagined this. At this time, it was 300 years or so since this notion had taken root in the minds of many. The people were amazed at the healing powers of Jesus, and they said, Can this be the son of David? This was true. He was. This was the same as saying he was the promised Messiah. This really upset the proud Pharisees and increased their jealousy of Jesus. The Pharisees scoffed at his ability to heal, and they said, It is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this man cast out the de- out demons. Verse 24. They were utterly uttering blasphemy against the power of God. And we note in all what Jesus said, I tell you every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. How much blasphemy of this nature is uttered and written about today? We are in awe of God's judgments when Jesus returns. Meditate on Paul's words in his second letter to the Thessalonians about when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing the Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.